Hello everyone, it's Megan Teacher Koy of ESIP Math Tutorial and for today's video, we will be discussing the Grade 8 Mathematics Quarter 1 Module 6 for School Year 2021-2022 and our topic is all about Linear Equations and its Graphs Pero bago pong lahat, if you're new to my channel, please don't forget to subscribe and press the bell icon para po lagi po kang updated sa lahat ng mga bagong videos po natin. At huwag niyo pong kalimutang i-follow yung ating Facebook page, Isip Mga Tutorial, at mag-join sa ating Facebook group, DepEd Teachers Files. For our learning competencies, we have here writes the linear equation AX plus BY is equal to C. So this is in a standard form. In the form y is equal to mx plus b and vice versa so it means from standard form to slope intercept form or from slope intercept form to standard form graphs a linear equation given a any two points b the x and y intercepts c the slope and a point on the line and describes the graph of linear equation in terms of its intercepts and slope for our objectives at the end of the lesson you are expected to write the linear equation ax plus b y is equal to c in a form of y is equal to mx plus b and vice versa and graph a linear equation given letter a any two points letter b the x and y intercepts and letter c the slope and a point of the line and describe the graph of linear equation in terms of its intercepts and slope so for our lesson 1, we have here write the linear equation ax plus by is equal to c in a form of y is equal to mx plus b and vice versa. So ibig sabihin ito from standard form to slope intercept form or from slope intercept form to standard form. So a linear equation to variables is an equation that can be described or can be written in two forms. First, the standard form ax plus by is equal to c where a b and c are real numbers and a and b not both zero or the other form is the slope intercept form in a form of y is equal to mx plus b where m is our slope and b is our y intercept and m and b are also real numbers a linear equation to variables in standard form can be transformed or rewritten into a slope intercept form so yung sinabi ko kanina from standard form to slope intercept form and also slope intercept form to standard form okay so we have here the properties of equality okay so we have the addition proper property of equality the multiplication property of equality and the division property of equality Magagamit natin to in rewriting our linear equation from standard form to slope intercept form and vice versa. So for our addition property of equality or the APE, and the same number or terms is added to the left and right members of an equation, the sums are equal. So we have the example, if A is equal to B, then A plus C is equal to B plus C. So kung ano po yung na-add nyo dun sa kabilang side, the same also dun sa kabilang side. For our multiplication property of equality, we have here the MPE. If the same number or terms is multiplied to the left and members of an equation, the both products are equal. For example, if A is equal to B, then A times C is equal to B times C. And for our division property of equality or the DPE, if the same number is divided to the left and right members of an equation, the quotients are equal. So we will divide both sides with the same number or equation. So we have here the example, if A is equal to B, then A over C or A divided C is equal to B over C. This is for the division property of equality. So to transform Y is equal to MX plus B, this one, this is our slope intercept form into our standard form ax plus by is equal to c transfer the terms from one side to another to combine similar terms it is clearly emphasized that the x and y terms are written at the left side of an equation while the constant term are written at the right side of the equation so that's for the standard form the from slope intercept form to standard form 
So we have here the example, right 2x plus y is equal to negative 6. So this is a standard form. Okay, ax plus by is equal to c. And then we will rewrite this one into the form of y is equal to mx plus b. So from standard form to slope intercept form. So what we're going to do here is we will use the property of equality. So from 2x plus y is equal to negative 6 to y is equal to mx plus b. The standard form to slope intercept form. So what we're going to do here is kung nakikita natin dito sa ating slope intercept form, di ba, yung variable y lang doon yung sa left side. The rest and doon sa right side. So ang ating equation ay 2x plus y is equal to negative 6. So dapat si 2x malipat natin sa right side para maiwan si y dito sa abilang side. So what we're going to do is we will add both sides by negative 2x. So using the addition property of equality, add both sides by negative 2x para makancel out po natin si positive 2x at saka si negative 2x dito sa left side para si y lang yung maiwan sa left side. Tapos, we will add also negative 2x doon sa right side. Diba? Addition property of equality. Then, simplify our left side na iwan si y. Sa right side, nagiging negative 2x minus 6. Nauna si 2x before si constant. Diba? So, the equation is now transform. Diba? Transform from standard form into slope intercept form. This is our slope intercept form. y is equal to mx. This is our mx plus b. Our b is negative 6 and our m is negative 2. So, that's how we rewrite from standard form into slope intercept form. So, we have here the example number 2. Write y is equal to 3x minus 5 in a form of ax plus by is equal to c. So, this is from slope intercept form to standard form. Okay? So, kung nakikita natin dito, ax plus by is equal to c. Left side, and dun si x at saka si y. Sa right side, yung constant. So, we will rewrite re this one from slope intercept form to standard form. So, y is equal to 3x minus 5. Okay? So, dapat si 3x malipat natin sa left side. Tapos, yung constant na negative 5 andun lang sa right side. Okay? So, what we're going to do is we will use the property of equality, the addition property of equality. We will add both sides by negative 3x. This is positive 3x, right? This one. So, para makancel out natin dito sa, sa, right si uh, sa right side, dapat add natin na negative 3x. Then, sa left side, add din tayo ng negative 3x. So, this is our solution. So, magiging y plus negative 3x is equal to 3x plus negative 3x minus 5. So, makancel out si positive 3x at saka si negative 3x. Okay? So, simplify. The result is 3x plus negative 3x plus y is equal to negative 5. Okay? Negative 3x plus y is equal to negative 5. Then we will simplify further since uh, gusto natin na positive si yung numerical coefficient ni x which is negative 3. So we will make that one into positive. So we will multiply both sides. So using the multiplication property equality, we will multiply both sides by negative 1. So if we multiply both sides by negative 1, the result is positive 3x minus y is equal to positive 5. So that's how we rewrite from slope intercept form into standard form. So for our lesson number 2, we have your graphs, a linear equation given first any two points. And the second one is the x and y intercepts. And the third one is the slope and a point on the line. So one method of graphing a linear equation is using the two points. In geometry, you learn that two points determine a line. Diba? If we connect the two points, it forms a line. Since the graph of the linear equation is a line, thus two points are enough to draw a graph of a linear equation. Simply plot the given two points on the Cartesian plane. So for our example, we have here graph the function y is equal to 2x plus 1. Okay, y is equal to 2x plus 1. So this is a example using two points okay given any two points so we will assign any two values of x for example the first value is zero and the second value is negative two so by substitution we will substitute the first value which is zero 
to our x. So our equation is y is equal to 2x plus 1. So our x is 0. Substitute natin dito. So simplify, 2 times 0 is 0 plus 1. So y is, is equal to 1. So when x is equal to 0, y is equal to 1. And for our second value, we have a negative 2. So y is, y is equal to 2x plus 1. Substitute natin si 2x and negative 2 sa ating equation dito. Diba? Nagiging 2 times negative 2 plus 1. So 2 times negative 2, that is negative 4. Plus 1, the result is negative 3. So our y is negative 3. So therefore, when x is equal to negative 2, y is equal to negative 3. Then, we will use these points. Diba? Then we will plot this one here in our Cartesian plane. Our first point is when x is equal to 0, y is equal to positive 1. Diba? This is our point. And then for our next point is when x is equal to negative 2, y is equal to negative 3. So this is our second point. Then we will connect that one. So that is our graph using two points. Okay? So the x and y intercepts of the line could represent two points. So this is for the second method using the x and y intercepts, which are A, that's for our x intercept, then 0 is y, and 0 and b. B is our y intercept. Thus, the intercepts are enough to graph the linear equation. So we will use this equation to graph the equation y is equal to 2x plus 1. You need to solve the x-intercept by letting y is equal to 0. So, we will let y is equal to 0 para makuha si x. And then, the y-intercepts by assigning x is equal to 0. So, to know the value of x, uh, no, the value of y, we will let x is equal to 0. So, we have here, letting y is equal to 0 para makuha natin si x. So, our equation is y is equal to 2x plus 1. So, y is equal to 0. 0 is equal to 2x plus 1. Right? Then, using the addition property equality, lipat natin si 2x dun sa left side. So, we will add both sides by negative 2x. Okay? So, makancel out natin dito si positive 2x at saka si 2x. Maiwan si 1. So, our equation is negative 2x is equal to 1. Diba? Using the addition property equality. Then, since meron pa si negative 2 dito, we will use the multiplication property equality or simply as division property of equality, we will divide both sides by negative 2. So, since we will divide both sides by negative 2, makasila sa negative 2, may si x. Then, x is equal to negative 1 over 2 or negative 1 half. Okay? Then, we will let x is equal to 0 para, na, para makuha natin si y. So, our equation is y is equal to x plus 1 by substitution. Our x is 0, so magiging ganito. y is equal to 2 times 0, which is our x, plus 1. 2 times 0 is 0, plus 1. So, y is equal to 1. Okay, so when x is equal to 0, y is equal to 1. So, we will use this one and we will graph that one here in our Cartesian plane. So, we have here, if when, when x is equal to 0, this one, our y is equal to 1. Okay, so we have here the y-intercept. And then y is equal to 0, x is equal to negative 1 half. We have here the negative 1 half. Okay, sana na-follow nyo po yung um, discussion po natin. So, we will connect that one. So, this is our graph. Diba, ito ding example na to na ginamit natin sa first method kanina using any two points. Diba, they have the same graph. Okay, so for our next, Method, the next method in graphing linear equation is by using the slope and one point. The graph, this can be done by plotting first the given point. If if the, if the problem is merong isang point, diba? given, a, given one point. Okay? Then the other point is by finding the slope. Remember, slope is the rise over run or y over x. The change in y and the change in x. Then connect the two points. So for example, graph the linear equation with a slope of 2 passing the point negative 2 and negative 3. So first, we will plot the point negative 2 and negative 3. So from the point of reference, negative 2 and negative 3, apply the concept of slope in getting the second point. Since our slope is positive 2, the number of units it rises is 2. Okay? For the y-axis and the number of units it runs is 1 because 2 divided 1 is 2, right? For the x-axis, then take note the turning point 
turn right if the slope is positive and turn left if the slope is negative. Then connect the two points as the graph of linear equation using slope and a point. So we have here the graph. First, plot natin yung isang point. Diba? Negative to negative 3. Then we will use the rise over run. So from our point here, diba? rise, change in y. Diba? So since positive, papunta sa taas. Okay, here. 1, 2. It's positive 2. Then run. 1. Since our slope is 2, so it could be 2 over 1. So 2 divided 1 is 2. So we're going to right, to the right because that's positive 1. So 1. So we have here the next point. Okay, ito pa yung graph natin. Then we will connect that one. This is our step 4. Na connect na po natin. And kung nakita natin, di ba, isa lang yung equation na ginamit, yung y is equal to, y is equal to 2x plus 1. As you can see it here, the same graph. Okay, so that's for our lesson number two. And for our lesson number three, describe the graph of linear equation in terms of its intercepts and slope. The basic property of a line other than vertical line is that its slope is constant. The slope of, of the horizontal line is zero while the vertical line is undefined. Both lines do not represent linear functions. So we have here the values of the slope m tells the trend of the graph. If m is positive, ibig sabihin, kung slope ay positive, then the graph is increasing from left to right. So we have here the drawing from left to right, uphill. Then if m or the slope is negative, then the graph is decreasing from left to right, downhill. Papunta sa baba. If m is equal to 0, then the graph is horizontal line. This one. Diba? Kung nakikita nyo sa, sa ating concrete uh, road, kapag kumaga, level lang, diba? the slope is 0. Okay? Then, if M is undefined, then the graph is vertical line. This one, undefined. Wala po siyang slope. Diba? Okay. So, for example, describe the graph of Y minus 3X is equal to 2. Solution, change the given equation in the form of Y is equal to MX plus B. So, nung na-discuss natin kanina, diba? How to rewrite our equation from standard form to slope intercept form or slope intercept form to standard form. So, our equation is y, is y minus 3x is equal to 2. So, magiging ganito po siya. We will add both sides by positive 3x. Di ba? Using the addition property equality. Then, the result will be this one. Y is equal to 3x plus 2. So, this is now our slope intercept form. Di ba? Sa ating slope intercept form, y is equal to mx plus b. Our m is our slope and b is our y intercept. So, therefore, y is equal to 3x plus 2. Our m is positive 3 and our y intercept is positive 2. Since the slope is positive, the graph is increasing. Diba? Positive yung slope, positive 3. So increasing from left to right, uphill. Okay, then our y intercept also is positive. And for example, number 2, describe the graph 3x plus 2y is equal to 6. So change the equation 2y is equal to mx plus b. So this is, our, in, this is in standard form. So we will change that one into slope intercept form. So, using the property of equality, we will add both sides by negative 3. So, we have here the, the solution. Cancel si negative 3 at si positive 3. Then, add both sides. Sa kabila, add na natin ng negative 3. So, magiging 2y is equal to negative 3x plus 6. Then, using again the division property of equality, we will divide both sides. Okay, by 2. So, divide lahat ng 2. So, 2y divided by 2, the result is y. 3x divide 2, the result is negative 3x over 2. Then, 6 divide 2, that is 3. The result is 3. So, therefore, this is now in y is equal to mx plus b. So, our m is negative 3 half. Diba? Negative 3 over 2. And our y intercept is positive 3. So, our slope is negative 3 over 2. So, therefore, our slope is negative. Downhill po sa decreasing. So, that's it for our lesson number 3. And once again, this is my teacher Koy. This is for the grade 8 mathematics quarter 1 school year 2021-2022. And see you in my next video.